Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hut, and welcome back to Baseball Hut. I hope you like this video and crush that subscribe button. A lot of people are coming on. I need to, of course, uh, I want to thank you and please, of course, uh, continue to subscribe and hit the subscribe button if you're new for the first time. But the Mets obviously have started their offseason. They had Dave Stearns talk to the press on Wednesday and he talked about this year. Uh, the great progress by the Mets farm system, uh, what they're going to be looking for uh, this offseason. And kind of the, the feeling was, just watching this press conference, is that the Mets are going to really be in on a lot of free agents and be very, very active. Now, they were very active last year, but they were very small moves. But those small moves got them within two wins of the World Series. So just imagine if you did some big moves to really jumpstart this, this championship team. And I, again, mentioned this a few times over the last week or two, is that the Mets won 101 games two years ago. So the core of this group is still together. Now, this is not a video about P. Alonzo. This is a separate issue because the Mets do have needs. That they're, they're probably going to, I think, in my opinion, going to move Starlin Marte. Uh, he's 36 years old. I think if you need some of that money, you could probably move him. He still is productive. I think some team would really like him. So they're going to need a right fielder. Uh, they're going to need a DH, as you know. J.D. Martinez stayed in the last month or so of the season and really wasn't the lead hitter that he had shown uh, in June and July and, and to a certain degree in August. So this rumor popped up over the last day or so. It's from SI.com. Mets predicted the trade for all-star slugger to upgrade designated hitter. New York Mets have been predicted the trade for one of the American League's most compelling sluggers this offseason. Let's see what they had to say in this article. Though the Mets lineup next season might look much different than it did in 2024. Of course, the biggest potential change pertains to Pilazzo, who will become an unrestricted free agent and expected to be pursued by many teams. The less discussed departure that seems more certain than Alonzo is that of J.D. Martinez. Martinez is going to be gone. The, the Mets got as much out of him as they could possibly could at the value that they signed him for. Uh, Martinez signed a one-year, $12 million contract with New York last offseason and went on to produce his poorest offensive season since 2013. Now, he signed a one-year deal, but $8 million of those dollars were deferred. So it was only a $4 million contract plus the, plus, plus the $8 million put on the side. So it was a very good contract in that regard. But uh, he played great. He hit great for two months and then pfft, just fizzled. Martinez's decline makes it seem likely the Mets will let him walk and seek a new DH this offseason in his place. An October 20th article from Bleacher Report's Brandon Scott mentioned an intriguing potential replacement. The Mets could take big swings at Brett Rooker or go the less expensive route with Taylor Ward, Andy Diaz, or Mike Yastrzemski. Interesting. Now, if you were to bring in Yastrzemski as a left-handed head, that means basically Jesse Winker's out of here. And Jesse Winker has a certain toughness that you want to have on your club. Rooker is a fascinating trade candidate for the Mets, the Oakland Athletics slugger, and 2023 MLB also posted a 292 average with a 927 OPS, 39 home runs, 112 RBIs in 2024. But he has undoubtedly been the A's best player of the past two seasons. That franchise doesn't seem like to succeed anytime soon and might be willing to deal Rooker away in exchange for compelling prospects. Now, what's interesting. Uh, is that the Mets have made a few deals with the, with the Athletics the last few years. Uh, Scott later predicted in his article, since they whiffed on the Soto signing, uh, the Mets end up trading... Well, no, we don't know if that's, that hasn't happened yet. The Mets end up trading for Slugger Brett Rooker from the Athletics. Rooker has another three seasons of arbitration, so trading for him would come at a higher price, but one worth paying without being able to land Soto. Bringing Rooker to Queens this offseason could offset the Mets potentially missing out on Soto and or Alonzo, or his presence in New York's lineup could ensure protection for either of those superstars and cement an excellent offset. I don't know about that. Because if you were to re-sign Pete and you bring in Rooker, that means you're very right-handed. How do you... And then you have Vientos in your lineup. All you have to do is... You, you, if you go up against the Mets, you wouldn't need a lefty against them. You just put you know, send right-handed pitching against the Mets. So the Mets' balance was very noticeable in the second half and really in the, in the last uh, few weeks how like like 
a little un imbalanced they were without having another left-handed bat in this lineup. Now, I said the Mets could use another left-handed bat in this lineup. In the middle of this lineup. I don't know if you want to bring in Rooker and lose Pete and not have Soto. So I don't know uh, where this kind of comes from, this idea that, that Rooker's going to help them. Now, I would mention this. Uh, even though they are a, a ghetto team in the athletics, they seem to turn a corner in terms of on the field. They played. They had a better season than they did the year before when they were just a disaster on the field. So they, they seem to turn the corner. Are they going to be in such a rush to move him? I don't know. That you'd have to ask. That you'd really have to dig deep. And they're not going to have... I don't even know where they're going to... I think they're playing Sacramento. You'll be playing Sacramento on a grass field. They, they forced the A's to... <laughs> and the MLB uh, Players Association forced them to put in a uh, grass field. That's how tough the A's are difficult to deal with right now. You know, they, they are literally like, you know, ain't got a home. They ain't got a home. And that, that, ain't, that ain't whistling Dixie. That is the truth. And they're about three or four years away from going to Las Vegas. And they're not close to getting to Las Vegas. And who knows? The way things are, they may not leave open. Who the hell knows? And, and here's the thing. They might go play in Tampa Bay. You never know. Who the hell knows where the, where the A's are going to be? And what their situation is. But anyway. Um, it's an interesting thought. But like I said. They turned the corner as a team. In terms of on the field. Are they in such a rush to trade Rooker? And who are they going to want? I mean guys driven over 100 runs. They're going to want a prime. Uh, prime uh, prospects from the Mets. They're going to want. Mets going to give them brand broke for them? I don't know about that. But but you can let me know what you think about that. In the comments section. Of course. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Baseball Hut, if you will. Uh, please send me a, a wonderful donation called the Super Thanks. You see a little heart with a dollar sign. Also, we have memberships here. It's a great way to support the channel. And it's also a great way to tip your host for, for the, all the wonderful work that I do here. I'm such a great guy, and a fun guy, and of course, I deserve it. And I'm special. You don't know. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you later.